Hey, Shalom, more praise on to you by seeing me outside the on and the Apostle GMS. Honestly, brothers, I'll be pushing this truth in sincerity. So, um, I was gonna do this video right here, okay? This video right quick. Um, and uh, the title of this article is called Iran, okay, accuses Nathan Netanyahu of fake history over Persians, uh, tried to destroy Jews coming, okay? So you had a particular comment made by this so-called president of Israel, okay, and we'll get into the, all the um the ins and outs of it, okay, and then we're gonna go into the scriptures, and then we're gonna see, okay, what the real fake news is, okay. So uh, what's what's important to bear in mind here is um you have a thing of these so-called uh, Amalekites, the head tribe of Esau, and they falsify the informations out there, all right, to the point of uh, um um. To the point of uh, uh, death, man. Okay, they falsify the informations out there uh, uh, to where the whole world believes those of them that are in the darkness, as the scripture says in the book of Isaiah, the 60th chapter. Okay, how the gross darkness has covered the whole earth. Well, this is part of the gross darkness, man. Okay, how the, the, the Jews left uh, the land of Israel, okay, when they fled uh, Roman persecution. Uh, when you know during the times of uh, uh, I'm talking about this is different time periods. I'm just using this as an example. So at different time periods, Israel left the uh, uh, the Israelites left the the, the land of Israel. It's not just the Jews. Okay, Jews was just a, a derogatory term that they used to to call the uh, was it derogatory? I forget. But uh, 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 it was a term. Okay, really just dealing with uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay, that's something that they they don't go into. Okay. It's a very important uh, piece of information because if Jews only refers, the word Jew only refers to free, okay, uh, free tribes, a fourth, is it a fourth? Uh, um, it was four times three, yeah, so a fourth of the whole tribe of Israel, okay, the whole nation of Israel. Where the hell are the rest of them niggas, man? Okay, where the rest of them? Okay, and the simple fact of the matter is these are the answers, these are the questions that these so called Jews don't like to answer because. It means that they gotta go into the history and go into the information. And every time someone goes into the information or the history or whatever, whatever, the truth is just so much much more prevalent. For instance, once you study the Assyrian captivity, then you're gonna go and see certain artifacts within within uh, uh, um, within uh, um, uh, uh, the British Museum. Then you come to certain art artifacts. Okay, I can bring one up right now. Uh, let's go to Lakish Relief. All right, Lakish. Okay. Okay, uh, Lakish Relief. You gonna bring it up for me? Hopefully, he's gonna bring it up for me. Uh, I'm just trying to get this, the, the 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 spelling just right. Okay, so when you go into the history and you really uh understand certain things that happen out there within the history and so on and so forth, or, or you try to do that, then you get into a situation where uh, um. The information starts coming out. Okay, now you're gonna be spiritually discerned. You're gonna be, you're gonna have a, a I wouldn't even say common sense, because common sense doesn't even cut it right now. Okay, right? The world, the vi whole vibration of the world is such on a low, uh, a plethora of understanding. It's actually ridiculous. Okay, so this is Lakish right here. This is a relief. A relief is, um, if you will, an image. Okay, a picture. Okay, this is what you call Snapchat of the, uh, of the, of the prehistoric world. Okay, and I did uh, a video on the history regarding the Assyrian captivity and so on and so forth. I believe this was during the uh, Assyrian captivity. Uh, you had these, um, you had uh, uh, um, uh, a Lakish uh, uh, taken over by the Assyrians. I mean, you know, uh, the history, you know, there's so much history that goes into it. I did a, a whole video dedicated to the Abyghia Persians, the Assyrians. Hopefully that information was on point, uh, was on point. So you can check out that video uh, uh, without me having to try to remember everything uh, you know, some <laughs> some brothers have got that gift of being a walking encyclopedia. Uh, the Maasai certainly didn't give me that that type of a spirit, but you know, Lord's will, I do my best to remember all all of the information that I can, and you know, and grow in my own uh, um my own a uh, lot. Okay, um, so basically, here is you have a, a depiction of Jakes out there, and you can clearly see these are niggas because of their nappy ass hair. Okay. Uh, uh, when when the Assyrians depict themselves, they have a completely uh, um, different hair texture, uh, um, or, or similar to, but not the same as that of those uh, Jews that they was taking over. Okay, which leads to one uh, irrefutable question that you have to ask yourself when you see these reliefs. Okay, so if these are Jews, and you can tell by the garments that they're wearing, 
Okay, you can tell by the beards on their faces. These are, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, you know, these are people that follow a certain ordinance, of a certain, a certain uh, 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 standard that they have to fall into. Okay, this is a certain standard. So this is Assyrians. Okay, this is the Assyrians right here. Okay, you can see how that they they are uh, they pretty much draw their whole hair texture in a completely different type of fashion to that of. Of, of that, I mean, like I said, you gotta be spiritually the sun. So they do the dots here, going, going. You know, there's only one kind of group of people with that kind of hair, right? Okay, and they do uh, uh, something slightly a uh, uh, different as with regards to their own hair texture, uh, 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 um, which is that of uh, um, uh, 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 you can tell that's you know slightly longer hair, you know, slightly more, you know, you, you know the Assyrians they got some some type of texture to it. That's why you see some type of texture, but it certainly is a lot different to that of this this group of people right here. The simple fact of the matter is this, that these are niggas, man, okay, these some nappy-headed, okay, bearded up, okay, niggas, man, alright, jakes, okay, and I call them niggas because you can see that they're bound down to the Assyrians right here because the Morsai brought up that judgment upon them, notwithstanding the, 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 the elect of the Morsai might, might, might have been, I missed them, uh, um, I don't know that, I wasn't, you know, the, you know, the spirit can't tell me to decipher uh, 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 what individual this wasn't, who he is at this point and this, that, and the third. Okay, and that can be found in the British Museum right here. Okay, so let's go back on to um, this article right quick. So I, I said that to say this, okay, once you start going and you start digging and you start mentioning, you know, uh, uh, the Syrian captivity, the Syrians took over uh, um, uh, 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 Samaria, okay, uh, which was the Latin speaking tribes, okay, Judah, uh, who was it, uh, uh, Ephraim, all right, uh, uh, Manasseh, uh, 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 um, um, Ishakar. And so on and so forth down the ladder. Okay, East, uh, who is it? The Assyrians. They took them down. And when they was uh, during the Assyrian captivity, they had it to where they was within themselves. They said, "Look, you know, we didn't observe our ordinances in our own land, and this is the judgment that came about us." That's spoken about in the book of Second Ezra. Is it Second Ezra? I believe it's in Second Ezra. Okay. So they had it to where they went down there into the um, into the uh, uh, um, uh, 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 into the Americas, man. So you had the Seminole Indians and so on and so forth. And um, um, the the crazy thing about it is this: you go out there and you you study the history of uh, uh, um, uh, um, you know the, the 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 North American Indians, the original inhabitants of the land of America. You see them building pyramids and so on and so forth, architecture that's similar, very similar indeed to that of that was in Egypt. Okay, so again, what group of people you know did that? Okay, and then you go into the history of the group of people that did that, and you check out the the, the the paintings that they had out there in Egypt, and you find this bunch of black people, man. So this notion of 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 of, of these Jews being the real Jews, once you start digging even just a just a just a little bit, okay, even just a little bit, if we keep it just just straight scriptural, we go to the book of Jeremiah, the, uh, Jeremiah the seventeenth chapter, the seventeenth chapter, um, it's Jeremiah fourteen and two, okay. We go to just just basic scriptures, okay, bread and butter scriptures. We go to the book of Jeremiah, the fourteenth chapter, and the second verse, okay. We come to a a a, a, a stumbling block, all right, for a lot for a lot of people, okay, because a lot of people have this notion that this, the so called Jews came and they were looking like Esau and this that and the third. So the Jews, the Egyptians look like Esau, okay. The uh, uh the Assyrians look like Esau. Okay, uh, 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 um, any pro uh, uh, prominent okay uh, empire that ever existed looked just like Esau. So in other words, Esau's just been in, in power for uh, for a perpetual amount of time. That's just ridiculous, man. Okay, so here is what the scripture says within the book of uh, Jeremiah, the fourteenth chapter and the second verse. So it says, Judah mourneth, okay, that their, their gates thereof language right because it was a great famine. Because these Jake was just going off, okay? It was worshiping idols. The Mosai was sending the prophets. They were killing the prophets. This was written by Jeremiah, whom they tried to kill, and so on. And yeah, this so, was so much wickedness, man. To the point where the scripture had to say it: Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, man. Here's here it is. You got a group of individuals that the Mosai set up from the foundations of the earth, and they was gonna come every time you was gonna go off, and you was gonna be led back. And the Mosai was gonna have mercy on you. And the, the very same people that were sent for your approval, for your correction, so the Mosai doesn't have to bring up his, about his wrath upon him, they killed him. Okay, they killed him. Let's put it into a plain and more simplistic uh, a, a exemplification. Okay, all right. When you have a, a, a let's say you have an individual. Individuals is in the desert, okay, and he's thirsty, hungry than a motherfucker, okay. 
right? And the Most High had it to where a certain individual comes and manifests himself and says, look, if you do this, that, and the third, the food is going to be there. Well, guess what? The example that I'm using is actually a lighter example than that of Israel, okay? Than that of the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, because the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, the Israelites, and the Israelites are going to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Remember, I mentioned that thing of the Assyrians. Do you really think that all of the, all, all of the, uh, um, all of the inhabitants uh, of, of, of the jakes that were taken out there into Assyria, right, didn't mingle amongst those people? And they just went out there into the Americas. Of course, they would have mingled amongst those people. Because going back onto Deuteronomy the 28th chapter on the 64th verse, it was going to be, it was part of a curse to be scattered. So I miss them Assyrians in, uh, today, man. You're going you're gonna to have a lot of uh, um, Israelites there, man. Okay? And you can see them catching hell uh, uh, out there with this whole ref refugee thing. Okay? Which is the same thing that's happening out there within, uh, within, between Mexico and the United States. Is it? It's just a see the multi see man. You really gotta see this thing on its entirety, man. Okay, so here it is. They're being kicked out, or, or, or they they get uh, getting restrained of moving over there. That's that's uh, 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 no. Obviously, they're gonna be heaving and miss them. Okay, and you got the same thing happening out there to their brothers over there, man. Okay, so hey, they know you underneath the sun. And the most side works in a very systematic pattern. I mean, that's not you know the example I made is not gospel. It's not out there to be pushed out there, but. It, you know, if it's an example and the Spirit, you know, revealed it to me, then, hey, it is what it is. But going back onto the point uh, I, I, I had made, okay, so the Mosai uh, had it to where the Mosai always sent um, the uh, the prophets and so on and so forth. And the prophets was going to do what? They was going to reprove the people, all right, to the end of the, the reproving the people was going to have it to where uh, 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 they was going to go back. Remember, Jude, Jake was out there. They had a kingdom of their own, okay, a, a land that they call, call home prosperous okay flowing with honey milk and, and so on and so forth and, and, and they had it to where the people that was going to reprove them right so that they could stay in the land okay they killed those individuals man so the most i brought upon them this great famine all right and this death so they was mourning they were languishing and then last time i seen some black dudes you know in famine and, and in thirst they get black man so that's why the scripture says here uh, the gates there of language they are black onto the ground and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. So the, again, these are the, these are things that you can't really go into these different things with these so-called Jews, okay? Or, or, or you know, they'll start saying, "Oh, that's why that's why our garments are black." Wait, hold on a minute. This is not talking about your garments. This is talking about your 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 your, your complexion, okay? And there's so many different other scriptures out there. All right, that you can go into. You can go to the book of Genesis dealing with uh, the, the the man Adam and how he was taken from the ground. Hence the name Adama, meaning, meaning meaning ground. Okay, I think it means ground off the top of my head. Okay, I ain't seen no pasty ass ground out there, man. Okay, if you was if you if we do the deduction, okay, we do the mental mathematics, okay, the logistics in our head, okay, that the Lord took uh, Adam from a fertile land and, and formed him from that fertile land. What color was that fertile uh, soil gonna be, man? Okay. The math, the simple mathematics of it goes to show you that Adam had to be a person of color. Okay? When you have it to where King Solomon says, uh, let's let's get the account in King Solomon where King Solomon says, um, 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 black and comely. Okay? When you gotta have it to where this statement was made, and this ties in nicely with the topical uh, uh, issue that's being pushed out there that King David was a, was a red man. Well, here it is, his son is a man of color. So where is what is it's, I mean all of these questions these are questions that people don't ask okay because people are too vested in their so-called uh, uh, social media and so on which that's that's gonna be the worst thing I've ever I've ever seen in my entire life man I mean it's got its uses okay all right it's got its uses but ultimately man all you're doing is <laughs> you're killing your brain cells man okay that's why we say common sense is not so common these days because if you have common sense you open up the scriptures and find out what color the people of the Lord were okay and as we're gonna see here they did the yeah, King Solomon himself said he was a, was a man of color so this is the book of songs of Solomon okay uh, the first chapter on the fifth verse it says I am black but comely okay oh yeah and that's that goes to show you that, <laughs> that goes to show you that the Lord was a you know he was a he, he was a he was a wordsmith man Okay, all right. This is this is some Jake Jake type uh, 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 phrasing, and, and 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 Jake's been saying this for the longest, man, because he's within our spirit. So you're telling me these same black dudes that you you know got the picky ass afros and so on and so forth out there, you know, uh, uh, talking to the to the ladies, still telling them, Look, I'm 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 black and beautiful, baby. You're telling me that that's actually a quote from the scriptures? 
Well, damn yeah, it's the quote from the scriptures, man, because this was a song, man. Okay, so it was within our spirit to to, to, to to come back up with that, man. Okay, so you had a thing here where the scripture says, I'm black, but come be all ye daughters of Jerusalem, right, as the tents of Qadar. Okay, so when you're talking about the tents uh, of, of a certain person, or well, the, the, um, the uh, 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 ancient world, there was a lot of nomadic uh, uh, lifestyles, a lot of nomadic tribes, okay? So when you have a certain household, all right, or a certain group of people, you might refer to them as the tents of the tents of Israel, okay, or the mountains of Israel, and that was another term that they used, or the house of David, that's another term that they used. But in this instance, you have it to where one of the sons of Ishmael, Kada, all right, meaning a uh, dark, okay, uh, 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 I believe the word there is Shakar, that's why uh, that's why I went um and and uh, 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 um and got this, okay, um. Is that why I got that? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shakar. Okay. That's why I got this. Okay. Because though, uh, the, that group of people, right, I believe it was the sons of Ishmael, there was a very dark uh, uh, group of people, right, if my if my information, uh, uh, so that's black. Okay. Black. Okay. <laughs> it's not, there's no other word for it. It's just black. Okay. All right. Uh, 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 you know, J. <laughs> you know when you're so black, it's blue. <laughs> Okay, so uh, uh, pretty much you got a situation there. So if you go to Kadar, I'll, uh, I hope it takes me to the right, um, the right type of information I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. It should tell me about uh, uh, son of Ishmael and so on and so forth. So here we go, here we go. Okay, so and these are the sons of Ishmael by their names according to their generation. The firstborn of Ishmael was uh, uh, Nebajoth, okay, and uh, Kadar and Abi, Abil, um, and um, and um Mibsa, okay so the uh, uh the important thing here to take away from it so the one of the sons were of Ishmael is Kadar so basically he's saying he's as dark as the house of Kadar okay that's all he's saying okay that must have been a dark group of people man so if King Solomon was a man of color okay and by mathematics by simple logic his father had to be in a man of color for you to be dark your father has to be dark okay it only works that way you know uh, 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 um, that means to say that King, uh, you know, Jesse, I believe it was uh, the son of David. King David was the son of Jesse. That means to say his father was was a man of color, and so on and so forth up the ladder. Okay, very simple, very uh, uh, irrefutable. Okay, so let's get into this article right quick. So it says Iranian Foreign uh, Minister uh, uh, Javad R uh, Rafim accused Benjamin Netanyahu for uh, resorting to fake history and selling out bigoted lies. About Iran after Israeli president, uh, 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 rather more Israel, Israeli prime minister said Iran right, had been trying to destroy, okay, the Jewish people for some 2,500 years. Okay, so that's that's uh, uh that's what all, all, all I really want to take. Uh, well, I mean, I can read more. Let's let's start. Let's read a little bit more. So it says the route started over a video uh, addressed by Netanyahu for uh Jewish to Jewish. Children on the holiday of Purim, okay, they're Purim, right? In it, the Israeli Prime Minister, okay, read from the Book of Esther in a, uh, in a synagogue, right, in the town of Sisera, right, uh, north northern Israel. According to legends, uh, according to legends, Esther, who was the Jewish queen, right, she was married to uh, Ahasuerus, okay, thought of the genocide of the Jewish people. So when you go into the history, you get the understanding of that. Okay, pretty much you had a hate that you had that uh, uh, Edomite Haman Amalekite, <laughs> and that's what's the, that's what's that's what's that's what's so ironic about it because he 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 the Amalekite okay right one of his forefathers another Amalekite actually tried to kill the real Jews and for that two thousand five hundred years they've been trying to kill the actual Jews the actual real black people on the outside. See that's the whole thing that you people don't really get to understand, man. They don't really get to get into the um uh into the breath of that, okay? So if you go to the book of Psalms, the eighty third chapter, I believe is going to be a, is going to be a good one for this one, okay? Here it is, here it is. You have a group of people they talk about all of the genocide, a prior genocide that's happened to them, okay? When they are inflicting so much uh, 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 burdens upon the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans is ridiculous, okay? From the food the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans are eating, from to the music they listen to. It's all pushed by these so-called rats, man, these so-called Jews, right, to the point of what? 
to the point of their complete and utter destruction to the end where the scripture even says uh, 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 um, the accuser of our brethren, man. Okay? Because they'll do what? They'll have it to where all of that... It's lucky, I'm, you know, I'm trying to talk and type at the same time, so it's not really working. But they'll, they'll go up and, and pray and say, look, Lord, look. <laughs> look at these niggas, man. They're committing adultery. They're eating pork and so on and so forth. But they're the same ones that oppose all of those agendas and all of those philosophies within the Negro, Hispanic, Native American community. That's the irony of it. Okay? That's the irony of it. Okay? All right? They'll talk about how the Iranians are trying to destroy the Jewish the, Jew, the so-called Jewish people. Then, when you go into the history of 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 of, um, of Esther, it was the man Haman who was who was an egg guy, all right. And I believe uh, um uh, um if let's go to the let's go to the scriptures, okay. Lest I be misquoted and someone will do a video on that a rebuttal, <laughs> okay. So let's keep it close. I was about to say let's keep it close. Let's keep it clean, man. Okay, 100 percent. <laughs> okay. So if we go to the man Agag. Because I know Haman was a descendant of um of Agag, okay. Um, all right, and I believe Agag was a son or a descendant of um or son of of of. of oh, see, here we go. So he said, and he took Agag, the king of the Amalekites, alive and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. So that's First Samuel, okay. And um, what we want is 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 he gonna give me um. Uh, we can go. We can go Haman, okay? Haman. It should be should be able to give me the informations. I believe I, I, I looked at this uh, a little bit earlier in, uh, in the in the history. Um, when I did the history video quite some time ago. So, um, yeah, here we go. Here we go. So after these things, did Ahasuerus promote Haman, the son of ha uh, Hama Hamadatha, the Agagite? Okay, so. Haman was the Amalekite. He was of the same group of people as this, this uh, uh, disgusting piece of shit. Okay, so here it is. He's talking about how the the Iranians have been trying to destroy the Iranians. Were trying to destroy you, man. They were trying to destroy us. Okay, they were trying to destroy us. Okay, and now you're pushing out this agenda. Okay, this whole thing about how the Iranians have been trying to destroy you. See, that's how Esau works, man. Okay, he'll he'll go out and fuck up the whole world, and then play the victim. Okay, and that's that's the that's the sentiment that you're getting out here. They're saying, okay, well, so we put you in slavery. Why are you being racist to us? Okay, that's the same notion that you got out there. Okay, and that's the, that's the, that's what you call a slick tongue, a uh, uh, devil, man. Okay. That's what you call an individual uh, uh, that is so uh, good where, where with wickedness is so sweet in his mouth, man. Okay? And that's how the most I made this individual, man. Okay? He made it. This is this is the this is this this is the great deception. Okay? This here is there is the great deception. I'm gonna take down a group of people here, Negroes, Spanish, Native Americans, the real Israelites. I'm gonna send them out there into captivity, out there into America. I'm gonna pump their food full of all kind of poison, pump their music. I'll take control over their whole music industry. I'll, I'll take control over their whole sports industry. Any means of it that they have, I'm gonna control it. And then to add insult to injury, okay, I'm gonna say, okay, that the, the Persians. Came to destroy us. The very same people. We being the very same people that 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 tried to destroy you underneath the name of Hamad, man. See, these are some slick devils, man. Okay, these are some slick devils, man. So let's go into the scriptures now, and uh, um, we are uh, um, going to the scriptures and and see uh, uh, um what this what the scripture says. Okay, so we'll start for us in the book of uh, Psalms, the eight third chapter, and the third verse, and it says they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against the hidden ones. So they, they this that's a crafty work right there. Okay, because people go and see that I say, Oh yeah. This the this these kind of articles reinforces the stronghold. And one of those the, 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 and that stronghold, one of those main bits of uh, stronghold is that you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, just niggas that they took from, from Africa somewhere. But the actual fact of the matter is that the first the first slave ships came out there from uh, uh from Europe, okay? On a good sheep Jesus, okay. And that goes to show you that name. That's the name of the uh, demon right there. Uh, that word Jesus. Cause we we worship Yahweh Shai. Okay. That Jesus. That Jesus was the same name they get that they that they put you on a ship on, man. The first slave ship. I, if if my if my information uh, serves me correctly. Okay. 
if my information serves me correctly. And also, too, what they tried to do is they tried to enslave them Native American Indians out there, and they didn't do it so successfully, so they had to try to wipe them out, man. Because God, God is like a warrior. That's a that's a, just a straight raw group of people out there, man. So they would they did that unsuccessfully. They say, I say, okay, all right, we're gonna find someone who's more docile and easier to indoctrinate, or rather, more that don't know the land. Okay, so they brought their brothers out there from the, the from from out there within Europe because that stronghold, that power structure that we had out there underneath the Moors and so on and so forth uh, uh, out here in Europe had uh, had weaned. Because we was going off on the laws, that's commandments to the most side, man. That's why we're in the state we're in right now. That's why we're in a state where a uh, 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 um, individual like this, okay, I won't go as far as saying that's gonna, you know, that that's a man in the spirit because he ain't actively out there trying to destroy Jake, okay. He's just a puppet of the actual elite banking families, the higher higher uh, 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 um, uh, uh, illumined ones, the higher uh, Amalekites use, man, okay. But you got one of the descendants of Amalek right here, okay, all right. Are playing the victim now, <laughs> okay? And they've been destroyed. They've been fucking up the whole earth, and they, but, 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 but more specifically, they've been destroying you, Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans for the longest, okay? So let's go back within the scriptures, right here. Uh, um, it says, um, right. So they have taken crafty counsel against the people and have, they've consulted against the hidden ones. They have said, "Come, let us cut them off from being the people." All right, that the name of Israel. That's what they call themselves, the Israelis, man. Okay, I right? don't call themselves the, the, the Israelites, they call themselves the Jews. Okay, Jewish children, right? And there's no Israelite children. Israel is a, is a fully, uh, 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 is a nation. Okay, the, 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 the Jews was a term to describe uh, um, the split up between uh, uh, um, the, the um, northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Okay, after King Solomon had his reign. Okay. That's what that's what that describes. It just describes Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So, like I said at the beginning, if that's just Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, where are the rest of the people at? Okay, because these are the, not the rural people or the moral side, man. Okay, it says then they've uh, um they've taken crafty counsel against that people and consulted against the hidden ones. They've come and said, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And it ain't no more in remembrance. We've got this thing of of Jews and Israelis, okay, uh, 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 and Jewish people. But the, the Israelites, you ain't you don't have it to where uh, you got commercials out there, uh, uh, um, you know, <laughs> uh, 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 with uh, with uh, uh, um, uh, some lamb or something like that that they're advertising, uh, 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 talking about the best <laughs> the best Israelite food in the world or something like that. You ain't got that going out there. They talking about Jewish and Israeli because why? Because they have actually had it to where the name of Israel for the for this t time and point is no more in remembrance, man. Okay. But see, here it is, the Mount Sai is having it to where the, 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 the old dry bones, okay, that these uh, elites done destroyed and, and, and massacred and so on and so forth. Through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashim outside quickening us, we're getting back the understanding of who we are. We're getting back on the understanding of what we're supposed to be doing as, as pertaining to the spirit and so on and so forth. And it's all dealing with the spirit, man. It ain't no good. Look, we failed. We fucked up at the law. And you got guys talking about the law, the law, the law. You're the same very niggas that fucked up at the law. Okay, so we gotta have some other medium to uh, redeem us back onto Yahweh Bashimi outside, and that's the spirit, man. Okay, that's the spirit of, of the understanding these scriptures on a spiritual basis. But ultimately, it's gonna manifest itself on a carnal level to the end to where what? That we're gonna have those laws, that's commandments, uh, 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 laws, that's commandments imprinted within our hearts, man. Okay, so let's finish up on this. It says, uh, Revelations 11, chapter 28, verse says, Their dead body shall lie down in the great sea. Which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Okay, and this is how we know that this the real Jews. Okay, all right, uh, 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 the real Israelites. All right, are out there within America because you talk about sodomy, that's America. You talk about slavery, hence Egypt, hence the Book of Deuteronomy, twenty-eight chapter, and sixty-eight verse, which talks about how the Lord's gonna send you back into what? Into Egypt. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, so all of these scriptures, they all are intertwined, linked. All right. Uh, uh, they all form a, a, a very beautiful, uh, a very comprehensive, very simple, all right, uh, uh, image, okay. And you're gonna be, uh, 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 you're gonna be of the right spirit, all right, to see that, okay. It's actually du I always get that wrong. Twenty-eight and sixty-eighth chapter, okay. Right. So all of these scriptures are is linked, man. 
Okay, and you've got some camps out there to where they don't know how to link up the scriptures. Why? Because they're not spiritually discerned, man. Okay, so let's finish up with the uh, second to last scripture. Deuteronomy the 28th chapter and the 68th verse. The Lord shall bring thee back into Egypt again with ships. Okay, uh, by the way, if I spoke unto you. So this is in the so-called Old Testament. And this is going to prove that the Negroes of Spanx Native Americans are going to be taken into, into slavery, right? Into captivity by way of what? By way of ships. Okay, the Israelites are going to be taken into captivity by way of ships, so, or, or the Jews really, because it was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that was really taken into captivity by ships. You already had it to where the other tribes were already here, but you also had it to where the Israelites were dispersed amidst Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, man. Okay, uh, um, so it says here, uh, uh, again with ships, so we know what group of people went into slavery by way of ships. Okay, we don't need to go into, into that. That's actually should be common knowledge by now. Okay. So let's go back on to the book of Revelations, the 11th chapter on the 8th verse. And it says, And they, their body shall lie down in the street of the great city. So this is talking about a great city. Okay. Well, people are talking about the Big Apple and America and how fantastical America is and this, that, and the third. Well, this is uh, this is a, 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 um, a mirrored within this statement here, right? which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So the name of the Lord was taken out from among us. The true image of the Lord was taken in the, uh, from us and uh, from among us, and they put up this uh, uh, Edomite, this Amalekite, uh, 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 what's his name, Caesar Bolget, man. Okay, and they paint that as the image of of the Lord. Okay, so it says, and they of people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies. So they saw us in captivity for 350 years, three days and a half. Okay, they saw us in that captivity, man, a hardcore bondage. And what did they do? <laughs> they made merchandise off of us, man. And it says they didn't suffer our bodies to be put in graves. They made merchandise. They were they were rejoice, uh, and it says that they, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and send gifts to one another for these two prophets, right? Uh, the Jews and the and the house of Israel, right? Uh, uh, Tom and them that dwell upon the earth. So when we was in our power, man, we was we was we was getting we was getting all up into their shit, man. Okay, King Solomon was killing killing you know was, uh, sorry King David was killing all kind of Edomites and. Amalekites and this, that, and the third, and his predecessors. I mean, there was a. We go into the history between Israel and Edom. <laughs> it wasn't no pretty history, man. Okay? I mean, you had, you know, uh, examples of peace and, and some kind of allegiance during uh, the reign of uh, certain um, uh, uh, Edomite kings, and, and, and uh, for instance, Jonathan and uh, Demetrius comes to mind. Okay, because I believe they had some uh, some kind of allegiance. When you read the book of the Maccabees, you, you see that Jonathan. Uh, one of the um, one of the principal Maccabees, uh, Maccabean uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, brothers. Okay, when he came into prominence, he had certain allegiances that he kept with uh, uh, with um, with the, I believe it was the uh, the Syrian portion of uh, uh, of 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 uh, the post Alexandrian era. Right, which would have been the Seleucid Empire. That's the one I went. Right, I think he had a certain allegiances with the Seleucid Empire, man. But I mean, don't quote me on that history until I do that. Until I do that particular video, which is which is in, uh, which is in works as we um uh, as we speak. Okay, so it says, and they are people, kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three and a half days, and shall not suffer their bodies to be put in graves. Okay, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and send gifts one to another, because these two prophets taught me them that dwell upon the earth. And after three days and a half, the Spirit of the Lord, all right, uh, the Spirit of life, okay, John 3, uh, John 6 and 63, all right, uh, uh, entered into them, and they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell upon them, I saw, okay, so when they see brothers getting into it, and like, like the elders say, my name just a thing saying, Esau, you're the devil, okay, Esau, you're the devil, and comes to the black woman, you're a whore, you're a whore, I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's not really edifying. Okay, it's entertaining. Uh, hey, that's hey, watching the video on the last of course it's gonna be entertaining, man, because it's it goes to show you the great power that the Most High has bestowed upon his people, man, to stand before our enemies and call them out for what they are to their faces. But what 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 happens when it comes to the edification, man? That's why you have a lot of people within Israel being attracted towards this uh, doctrine of mirth because they're hungry, they're actually thirsty, okay, and they're trying to fill and it's like it's like a 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 hole, right? It's like a bitch. Okay, a woman, right? She's been abused all of her life, right? All right, from the time she was a youth. Okay, so what she do? She tries to fill up that the emptiness with uh, 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 with vain things, man. Okay, instead of doing something that's gonna be of substance, of substance, that's actually gonna fill it up. 
And right? she goes and, 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 and does that vain thing. And that's the same thing you're seeing within Israel right now. You got it to where there's emptiness or void of knowledge, understand, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that, that really Israel is yearning to be filled up with. But because that's not being provided at IUIC, or when people perceive it and they see it coming from rough individuals and rough uh, rough men, okay, people that whom the world perceives to be bums and so on and so forth, okay, when they see that coming from those individuals, they are offended. Okay, when they see us moving in the manner that that's that that's not uh, uh, in in tune with their ideas, with their principles, their vain principles and ideas, here it is with giving them the food that they're so desiring. Okay, but they resist that. Just like goes back to that example I gave you. Here it is, this whole done been a whole of her life. She's trying to feel that emptiness. Here it is, you can have a sucker, right? For this example, he's gonna be a sucker. The sucker comes and tries to wife that woman up. She ain't gonna be with that, man. And I've seen that a thousand and one times, man. So I know that to be true, man. Okay? Hey, when I was younger, I was, and I was and I was that sucker, man. I did some shit like that. Guess what? Them women don't be vibing off of that, man. Okay? And that's the same thing that Israel's doing right now. Okay? Here it is. They need that nutrition, that spiritual nutrition. Okay? It ain't, be, it ain't being fed for them at Israel. Uh, uh, sorry, rather more at IUIC, ISUPK. So what are they going to fill them with? They're going to fill them with trinkets, man. Murph. <laughs> okay, they're gonna be filled with that mirth, man, because that good stuff that's being on, that's on on the table is just too good, man. And the spirit has it to where they they, they gonna get delivered. They uh, they they're gonna get uh, uh delivered away from the truth. And when we get delivered uh, uh from the missiles, they're gonna be destroyed from the missiles. And that's when they're gonna perceive just uh, what great evil that they have done, man. Okay, and that's spoken about within the book of Proverbs, the first chapter, on the twenty eighth twenty eighth verse on that. Okay, so it says there, uh, um, and they heard a great and, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come hither. And and, and they ascended out into the clouds. <laughs> and their enemies beheld them. And who's our, one of our enemies right now? Second Peter is the third chapter and the third verse, man. The last days they're just gonna come scoffers and they're gonna come, they're gonna scoff, man. They're gonna scoff aside. What well, we prophesy, they're gonna scoff aside, man. Okay, so they become an enemy to this truth. Because that's not the scripture says, He that's not with me is against me. So therefore, who's against you? Your adversary, Satan. Okay, your enemy, man. That's who's against you. And the scripture says, them that are against us, them that scoff against us, they're going to behold it. I'm, I'm a part of that. They're going to behold the men of the Lord being delivered out of this hell that we're in, man. Okay? So, I mean, you know, apologies and thoughts on the, you know, hell of the different, different topics there. Okay? Hopefully the different points were made. Uh, um... Y'all about to see me outside right as I'll check you, uh, you, you brothers on the, on the next, uh, uh, next video, man. So with that, you know... You know, all praises unto y'all, by me outside. Okay, double honesty uh, uh, to the elders of GMS, and that's a thing of 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 of, of, of honor right there, man. Right? Okay, because some people that got offended by that when the worship, uh, uh, the understanding of the worship came out and the word, uh, the sin, sending them to, to to double honors is is worship. See, guys, guys, guys get bugged out, man. That's why we say common sense ain't all that common anymore, man. Okay, so double honesty, apostles of GMS. Okay, honestly, both of us will be pushing this truth in sincerity. Okay, and uh, y'all bash me outside, runters out. We get to do this again. Shalom.